Kenyans have been forced to pay more for transport in the public service vehicle sector since the directive by Health Cabinet Secretary to reduce the number of passengers boarding in buses. Health CS Motahi Kagwe directed 14-seater Matatus to carry a maximum of 8 passengers while 25-seaters to carry 15 with most Matatus within the CBD complying with the directive. However, most Nairobi residents were this morning forced to part with double the price of their normal price. Nikisubiri gari, kila gari ambayo ilikuwa inaingia ilikuwa na watu wachache lakini pia itaki ku, kuongeza lakini yenye ilikuwa inapita ilikuwa inalipisha miya moja na hiyo ni place ambao mi nimezoea zaidi kenda sana mi ulipa 50 bob lakini asubui tena wakati mungina 30 bob lakini tena leo nimeshtuka, nimeshtuka kusema kweli but uh, ni, 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 ni effect ambayo imefanyeka kubwa kwa saidi yangu yani Passengers in Machakos County heading to town were forced to part with at least 150 shillings to 200 shillings different from the normal 100 shillings. Along Thika Road, the government's directive was exercised. However, passengers had to part with at least 100 shillings to 150 shillings, where the cost is normally 50 shillings. Other areas affected also include Westlands, Upper Hill, among other areas. Lakini fare imekuwa juu kidogo, maana mali penye nilikuwa nenalipa kama 50 to 80 bob, wanalipi shambaka hata 100, 150, ya so na watu ni wengi kwa stage. So imeweza kuadhiri. Alavu kujaribu kuangalia uba. Unajaribu kurekweza ta uba inapata yiku juu tana zaidi. Wameongeza. So kama 700, 800. So imekuwa ni changamoto sana. While most routes from the CBD complied, a section of the Nairobi routes did not adhere to the directive and carried excess passengers. Most of the passengers who still have to fend for their families say they cannot afford to stay at home but would rather risk going to look for business. The Wakenya wenge wenye tuko saizi ni hand to mouth. Sia tukomba tuko na place ambao tumeka do, ambapo tukika kwa nyumba tutakula. So ni meka mtu kuangalia kama kuna wala wateja wangu wa kila siku ambao wanaingia kama naweza pata mmoja though pia hata hakuna being a, a pastor uh, ni kujaribu kwenda kutafuta unajua tumeambiwa pia saa zingine si vizuri kutegemea sadaka saa zingine hazikuji kama saa hizi tumekuwa affected kama wachungaji makanisa imefungwa so sadaka tutatoa wapi so kuna hile kazi kidogo kidogo tunafanya However, Health CS Mutahi Kagwe says the move by public service vehicles to hike fares is immoral. Last week, the government directed 14-seater matatus to carry a maximum of 8 passengers, 25-seaters to carry 15, buses whose seating capacity is 30 and above to have 60% seating capacity. Dana Rachel Mbogwa, Ibru TV.